part two of the fifth wheel brake upgrade system. All right, so I'm sitting here with the air brakes and I want to demonstrate how the air pressure is applied to the brakes and how much. First of all, you got the two lines hooked up, the service line and the emergency lines charged up with air and it filled the tank and you can see back here right there the tank pressure is about 120 pounds in that tank for the emergency breakaway all right and then this is right now it's at zero pounds but this is the service line to the brakes and putting this little regulator in over here drops that air pressure down for me and I should be somewhere under a little under 90 pounds when I apply the brakes so I'm going to go apply the brakes do it one more time and hold it on there right. so right now I've pulled the the knob out in the truck, the red knob on the dash, so I can disconnect my lines. And what that does is it automatically sets. What's the red knob for? To supply air to the your trailer, and it applies the air pressure to the brakes and everything. And so when I uh, disconnect the lines, it'll still be pressurized, and the brakes will be on in the trailer, so I can disconnect without without pulling the trailer with me is the whole so that's going to be a little higher now then yeah i mean that's full brakes are on like you got to pedal into the metal so that's like what a hundred and uh, it's just about 115 maybe 14. but what i'll do is after i disconnect and everything get all set and i'm fairly confident this thing isn't going to roll away on me i got wheel chocks and all that i'll open up that drain valve in the tank and bleed the pressure off so everything comes down to zero and the brakes aren't always applied. What's wrong with leaving it air uh, in there? I, I, to free the brakes. I don't want the, the, the calipers to be always clamped on it when it's sitting for a couple weeks at a time. Mm -hmm. They could rust in place, the caliper and the pistons are out and all sorts of stuff. That's eh, bad news. So when you get ready to go, what are you going to have to do? All I have to do is hook up this and it'll hope, just recharge. Make sure that valve's closed. Gonna recharge it on its own. It'll recharge all on its own. Okay. Yep. How do you let the air out? Okay, I got this little peacock valve down here. What I'm doing here is I'm rocking the petcock valve back and forth a little bit to break down the ice crystals that form on that when you open up the tank pressure because when the air rushes out real quick, it gets super cold and it makes ice crystals. And just wiggling the valve back and forth breaks it down, helps the air drain out quicker. You really don't have to do it, but that's why you hear the popping and all that, and the sputtering of the valve as the air pressure drops down in the tank to zero. Once it gets down to zero, that's it. The brakes are released, and then we're all set at the campsite. Don't hit your head. Not try. <laughs> <laughs>